freedom of speech and expression. Fake news, fake news. Where is the line between freedom of speech and expression and the proliferation of fake news? Who can you trust? Now even mainstream media are peddling fake news. Rappler, a foreign news media company that claims to be a credible fact checker, is the most untrusted news media in the Philippines because of engaging in bias and partisan politics in the Philippines. But before we try to understand fake news and its impact on the freedom of expression, we need to know first what is freedom of speech and expression. Matapos ang malaki ang rally sa Edsa People Power Anniversary. Nangangalampag muli ang mga raliyista. Sigaw nila, mag-resign na si Pinoy. Dahil ayaw na muli natin na maulit ang paghahari ng mga pasista ng mga Marcos at Duterte sa ating bayan. Bago pa man mag-eleksyon, sikapin natin na mapaalis ang virus sa Malacanang na si Duterte. In every administration, Protest rallies are always present, the same loud people are shouting to bring down the leaders of the government. They just switch sides in every election. Does being loud makes them right? It is not a question of who is right or wrong, it is just enshrined in our constitution that we have the freedom to express whatever things we like or don't. Article 3, Section 4 of the Constitution provides that no law shall be passed abridging the freedom of speech, of expression, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and petition the government for redress of grievances. Thus, the right to freely express one's thoughts is not without basis. The right to freely express one's thought, is this absolute, or can this be abused? News media now is also actively engaged in social media are no longer just reporting news, it is now engaging in pushing their opinion and biases online. Just as everyone who uses social media, like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram uses all these platforms to share their opinions. This is where the credibility of established mainstream media is being questioned. The Supreme Court in its decision on Chavez v. Gonzalez, Gr. No. 168,338, February 15, 2008, explained that freedom of expression is not an absolute that gives immunity for every possible use of language and prevents the punishment of those who abuse this freedom. Certain types of speech such as slander or libel, lewd, or obscene speech, are subject to regulation. Article 154 of the Revised Penal Code, as amended Republic Act No. 10951, any person who by means of printing or any other means of publication shall publish or cause to be published as news any false news which may endanger the public order or cause damage to the interest or credit of the state shall be imposed with the penalty of arrest and fine. The question is, can we truly express ourselves without the fear of being censored in our social media expression by so-called fact-checkers, or should mainstream news media just stick to journalism and be wary of their own fake news? I believe that people should be allowed to find out for themselves what is truth or what is fake.